noob noob, let me tell you a little story about Snow White. And the Seven Dwarves. No. Snow White is the fairest in all the land? Uh, no. Gal Gadot. Nice. Yeah. All right, it's Noob Noob and Z. Z, Noob Noob, see him up there. What is that horrid creature on our screen? (laughs) We're going to talk a little bit about this, the sad story of Snow White and what in the world is going on here. There's a couple of things going on and there were some new set uh, pictures released and now we're starting to think, what is going on here? Yes. What is this? I was just... Given the bombshell that there are no dwarves in Snow White and the Dwarves. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves has no dwarves in yes, it. Yes, no dwarves. And we'll get to that. We will get there. We're not quite there yet. But Rachel Ziegler. Ziegler? Ziegler. And what is she from? Uh, what are the, in the, Into the Heights or In the Heights movie? I think so. That dancing movie. That dancing movie, yes. And the singing movie. And the singing. It's Clearly not a good looking be movie. singing this. Fuck. Uh, yeah, a little confusing. Like, I know she has all these things in her hair, but uh, what is What am I looking at? They're going to need a lot of movie magic. Like, <laughs> they're going to need a lot of movie magic yeah. to make this work right. Oh my gosh. And she's wearing some Ugg boots. Also, when did Snow White go tanning? I don't know. Yes. This just does not. Oh my gosh. There was a huge thing that was trending on Twitter for days because all the people were angry. I'm not angry. I'm a little I still angry. I don't care. That there's just, no dwarves. I don't understand. She can't say that she's the first Latina princess. Because is, she, is she not Moana? No, Avalon. Uh, Elena of Avalon is. Little Mermaid. No, also not. Well, she's going to be black. Now. Isn't her name Snow White? Yes. Like, doesn't make a lot of sense. Now it's Snow Avocados. I don't know. She is, apparently she has extraordinary vocal abilities. I don't know about that. We'll of see. sucking dick to get that role? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Who did she do that to? So I guess we can move to the part where I go, I am confusion. If this is Snow White. Mm-hmm. You know who our evil stepmother is? Um, Agatha Harkness. No, Gal Gadot. Oh, I am confusion. Can we like delete that picture on the right though? <laughs> can we delete? How can how can Snow White be the fairest in all the land compared to Gal like Gadot? Like if you take the head, if you take the body, like that's the not body, even like the best picture of Gal. Gadot. Oh, I know Gal. She looks, she looks like a much better than that. Yes, no, but she is gorgeous. Also, the, and she also won like numerous beauty pageants. Yes, they're gonna. I, I guess you can fuck her up. I haven't seen her fucked up in a while. When was the last time we saw her fucked up? Didn't they kind of try to fuck her up in one of the Wonder Woman's? No, mm, I don't think so. I forget. I don't know what they can do to salvage this girl. She's supposed to be twenty-one. Is in she really? real life? Yes. Oh, in real life, she's twenty-one. Yes, in real life. Who she looks, looks older, older than Gal Gadot. She looks older than Gal Gadot. Her face looks like an anorexic teenage boy. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious too, because this is this is from uh, whatever Pop Sugar. But look at this. It says, "Oh, Disney's live action of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs." It's not that though. It's just called Snow White. Oh Jesus! God. Oh my God! How dare you? It's dwarfless. How dare you? Yeah. See, I was right. Uh, it was a historic moment because she'll be the latest Disney princess of color, but they don't get to say that she's the first anymore because Elaine of Avalor was already the she's first. She's not Latino. technically because they're they're not making a Latino princess. They're just recasting a white princess as Latina. I guess that is also true. And her name is Snow White. Yes. And she is not Snow White. No, she went tanning south of the border. I don't know. I am I just don't get, like, if she goes up to the mirror and says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of the ball? The mirror must not lie. It's, it's, it's going to have show... to keep saying Gal Gadot. Yep, it's going to have to. It's going to have to. It can't say this girl. There's no way. Maybe. Just maybe they didn't put the dwarves in because the dwarves are also hotter than her. Oh, my gosh. So. Maybe. So let's get to the dwarf part of this story, which could be the saddest part of, of the Hashtag whole thing. stop dwarf hate. Hashtag, Hashtag cancel Peter's dwarfledge. Peter Dinklage. Dwarfledge. 
So a lot of people are saying that this is what I think about this is uh, they're they're saying that Peter Dinklage climbed up the ladder, a tall, a tiny ladder, and and then ki is kicking the ladder away for all other dwarves with his stubby little legs. Wouldn't you? Th he says that the seven dwarves are an insult. You don't think that the seven dwarf actors who would be in this would be made for life? Like, wouldn't those seven would, actors be... It would help. Yeah. Like, you want representation. And now, like, with CGI and things like that, you don't need to hire little yeah. people to do things anymore. Like, they used to be, you know, they were the Ewoks. They were in... Um, they were Oompa Loompas. Like, some of the greatest movies of all time. Uh, what's the one with uh, Oz? Not Oz. The, the Wizard of Oz? Yes. Oh, the monkeys? The, the munchkins, not the monkeys. Oh, not the monkeys. They were not monkeys. <laughs> they were not monkeys. They were not the wing monkeys. No. They weren't? I don't think so. I think those were norm like, normal. Normal size norm people are like... We're, we're, I don't know. They were monkey size people. We need people. bigger monkeys. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they were... He, I don't understand either because Peter Dinklage has made a point of refusing to take stereotypical roles commonly reserved for little people. Except he did Game of Thrones. That was specifically written for a little person. Well, didn't he do a love story? There was a, 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 a he was Syria. in Thirty Rock. No, no, no. There was a, he was in a love <clears throat> movie, like a romantic movie recently. I forget what it's called. It's based on a novel. Oh. And he's like the love interest, but I don't know if it's meant to be a tiny person. I'd it, be I'd be curious to look that up. It's just strange too because they keep saying the same thing. They keep saying Disney's upcoming live action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And there's not going to be any dwarves in it. They're going to they be like explain magical no creatures. Dwarves. They're just going to be like magical creatures. Not dwarves. Not dwarves. There's going to be seven magical creatures. He go so this is what he says. He says literally no offense to anything, but I was sort of taken aback. They were very proud to cast the Latino actress as Snow White, but you're still telling the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Take a step back and look at what, what you're doing there. It makes no sense to me. You're progressive in one way, but then you're still making that effing backward story about Seven Dwarves living in a cave together. Hey, they don't live in a cave. <laughs> they live in a house. Is he saying all the dwarves are fucking each other? Is that what he's not happy I, about? He goes, have I done nothing to advance the cause for my soapbox? I guess I'm not loud enough. You're literally preventing people that you quote unquote want to represent. You're keeping them from getting jobs. I want to punt Peter Dinklage off a bridge. And I can because he's tiny. He says, change the dwarf. Ca they're going to change the dwarf character characters to magical creatures created with cgi you just cost little people seven amazing jobs yeah they would be people, actors they could literally go for the rest of their lives i'm sure they could go like disney cons and all sorts of stuff like you don't think people will will always be remember them if they you know like oh there's like sleepy or dopey or whatever i think he's not even mad at their names like is dopey offensive now like what it's yeah, just it's not ridiculous. like all seven of them are called midgets or something. Like, I don't understand why. It, yeah. I just, I did, none of this makes sense. Peter it, Dinklage is a bitch. Yeah, he's just being a jerk to his entire community. I used to oh, like, here's a member, a journalist from the little people community and documentarian, Kara Reedy. She goes, he's no dwarf hero. He does not talk about it. He's talked about it twice. He pretends like it doesn't exist. But he has not assisted the community. Wow, she buried him. She uh, she says it's appropriate f that he speaks the truth about how he feels, but I don't feel it's appropriate that he is including the entire dwarfism community. That's amazing. Yeah, and like Warwick Davis, uh, one of the most famous. Yeah, uh, that dude's dwarf awesome. Yeah. from Harry Potter. I, it's just like you're taking these amazing jobs away from people, and now they're just going to be CGI. Um people you know what i mean like that's really it's really terrible peter dinklage is a bitch she even goes she says look uh she, yeah there's now there's seven downturn roles like it's super high profile jobs and five years ago there were constant commercial auditions because of the equality voices that were doing elf roles dwarf roles leprechaun roles they've all been eliminated because people are too scared to do anything because they think they're offending they're getting people. so woke that they're going unwoke yeah they took our gerbs. They took our gerbs. I stand with the dwarves. I also 
See, Except dopey, Peter Dinklage. Sneezy, bashful, sleepy, happy, grumpy, and doc. Not Dinky though, because Dinklage is a piece of shit. I just I can't believe they like it's just it's crazy to me that he would do this to them. I now wish he died in Game of Thrones. Oh my gosh. You know what? In 2017, Dinklage was attached as the producer and star of an adaptation by the Nobel Prize winning Swedish author Par Lagervitz. The title? The Dwarf. What a piece of shit. Ah, oh, what a jerk. So, yeah, I don't have high hopes for this, do you? I'm not. You want to stop the dwarf hate. I do. I, I'm not supporting this because there's no dwarves. I support Gal Gadot, but I can just watch like clips of her. You could watch her in another movie. I could, yeah. That is probably a superior movie. Even, I think Wonder Woman 84 might be superior yeah. to what this is going to be. Because that at least gives me the fantasy that Gal Gadot may rape me. Oh my gosh. Right? She raped him. Yes, she did. She did I forgot him. she's a rapist. You she is correct. a rapist. She's the rapist. Allegedly in a movie. Allegedly in a movie. Not Gal Gadot, but Wonder Woman. I don't know if it could, I don't know if she could rape anybody. There was no, no one's going to say no. Oh, that's true. But like, Wonder Woman, would people say no? She's pretty strong. Yeah, but like maybe they want to have it taken from them. So it's like a consensual rape. Yeah, but you're not going to get 100% consent. Yeah. It's it's the fear that that you know, extra 2%, maybe they don't want it. Hmm. Well, either way, I am fairly disappointed in this. It just seems like a sad, sad story. A sad state of affairs for Snow White. And something we wanted to take a look at. Get a better understanding. A clearer understanding. A more inclusive understanding. Uh, be sure to check out our full-length audio podcast. You can catch that anywhere for any podcast. It's free. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. All those great places. And you can catch our live stream Friday nights here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also catch us on Rumble. And you better like and subscribe because there's a distinct possibility that Noob Noob may do this. I will shrink myself into a dwarf and then crawl up right into your scrotum. Burrow there. Why Burrow there always with why there? a bushel of honey and attract bees. And I will run away before the bees get me. But you know what they're going to get? Your testicles. Why is it always... And if you're a woman, I will transition you to a man and then do the same thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, Caitlyn Jenner's not safe. Oh, my gosh. Well, anyway, <clears throat> that uh, about wraps it up for Our Reviews Will Kill You. And, but we will catch you next time because we're on to the next one. <laughs>